it's been wonderful. You know, we try and use uh, scouting and various methods to, to reduce our pesticide use and to make it more efficient when we do use it. Um, so I would say that IPM has had a, a, a large impact on the farm. Well, in uh, many ways, we reduce the number of pesticides we use, or at least uh, reduced by uh, fewer sprayings. Uh, generally speaking, a cleaner crop. We consult the most would be the Southeastern Handbook. Um, we use it a lot for recommendations um, as far as pesticides that can be used. Um, I even use it sometimes if I can't remember exactly when I need to plant something or what the, the spacing is on it. Uh, we, we use that a lot. I use the little the handbook, well, I call it the Bible, <laughs> yep. uh, from all the time going through looking, uh, especially for identifying and what I can use and what I can't. Um, I use the slide chart a lot now for myself and also for education purposes. It's so easy and clear. We've used trap crops the last couple of years. Uh, very happy with the results there. Uh, program uh, is uh, something that we're uh, implementing on our farm. We, we have uh, planted some trap crops. Uh, we planted some sunflower and uh, the uh, sorghum. Plus we also have some uh, uh, other crops that, that we plant like um, uh, turnips. You know, using sunflowers as a trap crop for uh, leaf-footed bugs, that's one of the things that I've, I've learned from your program. Um, so we were able to do a little bit of that this year, and since it was very effective to uh, attracting them, we're planning on doing more of that next year. We've been using sunflowers when we plant our tomatoes, and we're hoping to do uh, sorghum as well next year to add to that. And we would like to get it more into a rotation that keeps the uh, insects off for a longer period of time. 